Hello, I'm Thierry Leterre and I'm the Dean of the John E. Dolivoy European Center in uh, Luxembourg, the Ferdange. And I will be your tour guide for the castle tour today. We are actually in front of the oldest part of the castle of the Ferdange. It was a Renaissance manoir that has then developed over the 18th, 19th and 20th century. This part is mostly 15th century and has the typical features of a Renaissance manor. We will see across our visit uh, different parts of the inside of the castle, but here you have to understand that what we see actually has been heavily redone, even if it retains the main features of the Renaissance. In particular, a fire has destroyed most of the castle except for the walls in 1960. It was rebuilt in the 1920s, which explain how the castle looks inside and also the roofs of the castle. Miami University European Center in uh, the Ferdange is named after John Dolivoy. John Dolivoy was born in Luxembourg. He was a, a great Miamian and also a great American patriot. He came back to Luxembourg after immigrating to the U.S. in the 1930s during the Second World War, where he became an interrogator for Nazi criminals. It was an unexpected reunion with his own country. Later on, John Dolivoy became Vice President of Miami University in charge of alumni. And after retiring from Miami University, John Dolivoy became U.S. Ambassador to his own country, Luxembourg, in the 1980s. The Messie de Mont classroom is named after one of the earliest uh, associates of the center of Miami in Luxembourg. The castle used to belong to the steel mill of the Ferdinand. And it might be a little surprising to see that they wanted to show the portraits of great economists on the walls. Those portraits actually have been kept from the steel mill era. Most surprising, we have on our left the portrait of Karl Marx. It was surprising if you think that this was uh, posted by a very capitalist industry. But the message was, Marx belongs to our neighbor since he was born in Trier, and uh, that Trier is not that far away. But also it was a political message. We're here to do business, so if you want to believe in Marx, it's all right. Just do business. Welcome to my office, which was actually the library of the castle when it belonged to the steel industry. And we have kept uh, the ambience of this uh, uh, office very close to what it was in the 1930s. You will find books, which are also uh, the heritage of the 1930s. And there's one thing that is very interesting about those books. They reflect a large spectrum of political opinions from well, let's say the radical left to uh, the very conservative right. The message was uh, always the same. We're here to do business. So suit yourself if you have different political opinions, provided that we can do business. It is also worthy of note to know that those books are all in French, which is and was back then the business language of Luxembourg. This classroom is named after Dr. Eckert Ecke Stiller, who was uh, the first dean of Miami University in Luxembourg and uh, who has served uh, at the Dolly Boy Center for over 20 years, both uh, as professor and director, then 
connecting of the center. The Charles de Bourg classroom is named after Charles de Bourg, a great leader of Renaissance who actually probably stayed the castle of Differdange to meet uh, with uh, the French king as envoys. The meeting obviously didn't uh, really go well since a few weeks after Charles de Bourg was killed on the battlefield against the French. The Charles de Bourg classroom is one of the most beautiful places in the castle. You can admire the French windows and more specifically the beautiful window that uh, opens to the garden. We are here in the oldest part inside of the castle, the old, typically Renaissance staircase. And I would like to show you on the side of the steps the marks that uh, the carvers of the stairs made to actually be identified. It's a kind of runic sign, but it's actually the ancestor of Calabar, so to say. This part is called the landing, and it's a fine example of the look and feel of the 1930s that we have all over the castle and that Miami University has carefully preserved. This is where students can rest a little bit, but also most of the time work, and usually this place is spread with computers. Hi, I'm James Mastillo. I'm an architecture major. Um, I'm a junior and this is kind of our area of the chateau. It is part of the library that we've turned into the studio and this is basically where we do all our work. Um, there's about seven of us at this table and we have a little uh, like model making shop over there. And uh, yeah, I mean this is just where we get all our work done and spend our late nights. <laughs> The ceiling of the Grand Hall was painted by a German artist in the 1930s. The Maria Bardun classroom is named after a great friend of Miami and of Luxembourg. To this day, students can receive an award in her name at the end of the semester. There, I will pass it on to the students who will show you the area. Hey guys. hey guys! I'm Lauren. And I'm Christopher, and we're here to show you the cave. Come on! So, this is where we hang out, we get a lot of schoolwork done, we plan a lot of trips. There's some nice hammocks and some foosball if you need a break from class to relax. There's also a vending machine. As you Here's some of our friends studying now. Oh, yeah. Very <laughs> productive. We got more hammocks. We got a quiet study area over in the corner. So over in this corner is more of a casual hangout area. If you need a break from class, you can sit and relax. Game of Thrones is on the TV sometimes. Yeah, we set up Netflix, you know, we just kind of hang out, talk, chill, you know, relax. Alright, so over here we got more study tables, more hangout area, we got another vending machine. And we're going to show you the kitchen now, come on. Hey guys, so over here is our kitchen. Uh, we got stoves, we got plenty of fridges and freezers, you can make your meals, you can drink your coffee, you know, just everything you need in a European kitchen. Yeah, and the best part here is we have a coffee machine. So if you need to have a coffee throughout your day, you can just come down here, 
Pick what you want, it's great. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your tour.